I'm Steve Ember with In the News in VOA Special English. Citizens of the Democratic Republic of Congo had to wait a long time for the elections last Sunday. It was the first time in almost a half century that there were candidates from more than one party. Great numbers of people voted in the presidential and legislative elections. But a slow start to counting votes means another wait. Early reports suggested that President Joseph Kabila faced his strongest competition from Vice President Jean-Pierre Bemba. More than 30 presidential candidates were on the ballot. If no one gets 50% of the vote, citizens will choose between the two top candidates in October. President Kabila heads a large coalition of parties. Mr. Bemba is a former leader of a rebel force. Several human rights groups have accused him of major violations. He is one of four vice presidents in a temporary government of national unity. Almost 10,000 candidates competed for the 500 seats in the national legislature. Thousands more ran for local legislatures. Final results are not expected for about three weeks. The United Nations helped organize the elections. UN peacekeeping troops and a force from Gabon assisted with security. The Democratic Republic of Congo, formerly Zaire, is a huge country in Central Africa with 60 million people. The UN Security Council praised the millions who, it said, took part freely and peacefully in democratic elections of historical importance for their nation. It also appealed to the Congolese people to receive the results with the same spirit of civic responsibility. Most foreign observers were satisfied with the voting process, but several presidential candidates say there was cheating. They include former rebel leader Azarias Rubawa. He was supported by Rwanda during the years of civil war in which almost four million people died in Congo. A number of nations took part in the fighting between 1996 and 2002. The main opposition party, led by Etienne Chisiketi, boycotted the elections. Some local election officials accused his supporters of setting fire to election centers and voting materials in a diamond mining city. Mr. Chisichetti became active in politics in 1960. That was the year Congo won independence from Belgium. In 1997, Laurent Kabila, father of the current president, ousted the longtime dictator Mobuto Sese Seko. Joseph Kabila became president after his father was killed at his palace in 2001. Supporters say Joseph Kabila united the rebels to help end the war. Critics say he should not lead Congo because he was not born there, something he denies. And that's In the News in VOA Special English, written this week by Geraldine Watson. You can read transcripts of our shows and listen online at voaspecialenglish.com.